Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Um, if you're watching this, then it's worked. I thought for a little while it might not. Uh, there is a trailer at the beginning of this game for the game. You know how sometimes if you wait around for a while on the uh, main screen like this of a computer game, it will start a trailer that shows various images from the game. So this does have that, but um, my video editing software is having a hard time recording that. Basically I've had numerous uh, technical difficulties, including accidentally deleting um, episode 15 of my uh, Game Boy Advance version of this game, of my original Let's Play. And I wasn't very happy with my original Let's Play of Final Fantasy IV, the Game Boy Advance. So what I've decided to do is restart Final Fantasy IV with this version that I found on Steam, which I'm pretty certain is a PC port of the Nintendo DS version. So uh, you're going to be seeing this instead. Um, which will hopefully, in fact I have already played ahead and it does have better graphics and it's solved most of the problems that I had with uh, the Game Boy Advance version of Final Fantasy IV. I'll leave the old videos up there for a while but from now on any new Final Fantasy IV Let's Play videos will be based on uh, this version and not the Game Boy Advance version, and uh, if you're disappointed, I'm sorry, but that's that's just the way it's going to have to go. And in fact, I've had some technical difficulties recording this, which is why you can't watch the trailer. Uh, I I tried to get different video editing software, but that that didn't really work. So um, that's enough talking from me. Let's just get on with this. Uh, I recommend, well, if you think you're ready to play it on hard mode, then play it on hard mode. But so you don't watch me fail over and over again, I'm going to play on normal. One of the things about using this version is I can't save whenever I want to. I think that's a good thing. No, but uh, that's why I'm going for normal. Lord Captain, we're nearly to the Baron border. So we are. It troubles him, too. Orders may be orders, but this, this goes too far. So this is them stealing the uh, crystal. Lord Captain! We are the Red Wings, the pride of Baron. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? Enough. But Lord Captain, the Mycidians offer no resistance, and still we cut them down. Listen to me. We did no more than what our kingdom's peace and prosperity required us to do. The Mycidians knew too much of the crystal and its secrets. His Majesty deemed it so. We are the Red Wings of Baron. It is not our place to question the orders of our king. Lord Captain. Lord Captain! Monsters at the floor! Unlike the Game Boy Advance version, in this version you get to fight the monsters whilst you're uh, on here. At the moment the battle style is set to wait. It sets it that way automatically and I recommend you do that because there are a lot of different options for how to attack here. So I'm going to explain them a little bit, not too much, but yeah, when it's on wait, that means now they both attack, they need to wait for me to attack before they can do anything else again. 
So I think darkness probably um, stops them from being able to see me and therefore stops them from being able to attack me very well. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Or it might not. Perhaps for now I ought to just attack. I do understand how to do this. I just uh, don't seem to be doing very well at it. Never mind. But attack, attacks, items. That's you get items and use them. Defend makes you defend, but not attack. Swap rows has to do with other characters, but since we can't use other characters at the moment, uh, never mind about that. Well, I don't know if I've accidentally cast darkness on myself, and if I have, that would uh, that would explain why darkness doesn't seem to have stopped them from doing what I was hoping they would do. This is not be able to attack me by Everyone well. all right? Aye. With all these monsters as of late. Disturbing, is it not? I wonder what it bodes. We've reached the castle, my lord. Well then, prepare for landing, men. My lord! Had lots of problems with uh, getting the, the graphics to work on my editing. Uh, software for that bit. They uh, they didn't seem to like um, the uh, rather impressive graphics there. So unfortunately, uh, they won't talk during this bit. Well, they'll talk. But you need to read the dialogue. If you need to pause it to read the stuff and do, I'm not going to do voices. But yeah, these Im this is definitely an improvement over the graphics in the Game Boy Advance version. I mean, their faces don't look that good, but. Compared to the GBA version, there's so much more detail, you know? Mm. It's interesting as well, in front of his men, Cecil uh, tells them no, we have to do what the king says. I'm sure everything the king tells us to do is for our, uh, our nation's good. And then, when he doesn't have to inspire the men to do his, their jobs, he uh, he's more honest about how he feels. This is an interesting thing to note about his character. I like the little noise it did there. I like the fact that between bits of dialogue they move. I think that's a nice touch. It makes it a bit more realistic. Of course, it's slightly less realistic because they're just pausing there now and staring at each other, but still. Just admiring the carpet there. It's admiring the graphics of the carpet. Yeah, I was wondering why your eyes are purple.
I like the fact that the music comes back in at that point, that's cool. So yeah, there were different classes in uh, this game, like different jobs, I suppose. So the Dragoon is good at jumping on enemies with a spear, and uh, they generally use spears, and each class has its own sort of weapons and advantages and disadvantages. And something that the Dragoons can do that the Dark Knight like Cecil can't is uh, that uh, attacks like Earthquake attacks that affect the ground don't affect the goons. And uh, Dark Knight does various uh, things as well, but you'll, you'll see what along the way. I'm not going to explain all of it in detail now. They've changed the name from the uh, Game Boy Advance version as well. It wasn't called the Carnelian Insignia. I think it was called the Flowering or the Red Ring or something like that. Now I'm not going to show everything off because there's uh, there's no point really, um, and I want to get this set so over with, I guess. But uh, I want to show this off. So if you press, I think it's the backspace button. If I don't remember what a button's called, I'm sorry. Maybe it's getting old. Who knows? Uh, but yes, this button that has two arrows on it pointing opposite directions is next to the Q button and that's the cat stock button underneath it. Opens this uh, menu and you select things with enter and uh, enter also lets you walk characters as well. Uh, inventory is all the items that we have. Uh, magic is useless to us now so I'll talk about magic when it becomes helpful. Equipment is stuff like the armor that our character has, abilities, well, I don't think Cecil has any uh, abilities yet. Well, uh, has a few things he can, he can do these things. And you can do that to move this around. Ah, right. You can also press this arrow, this button with the arrow in it above the enter button. Ah, I'm sorry, to be able to select different things. So, sacrifice HP to attack for double damage. That's what darkness does. I don't know why it's called darkness, but that's what it does. Enough, enough showing you this. But, yeah, status uh, just tells you the status of the character, so we can uh, see there. Um, how many experience points he needs to get to the next level, which will increase stuff like strength and speed and stamina and intellect and so on. Um, the characters go up levels, so gain more experience points. Uh, HP is their health, MP is their magic. You can see the uh, items that he has. Uh, dark sword, dark shield and so on. Party is useless to us right now because we only have one character. Settings, I'm not going to mess around with that. Um, as I say, the battle style is on weight. Other than that, there's no point in talking. About that, quick save saves it, but if you leave the game, then the quick save is no longer saved. Um, which is why only normal saves 
uh, count as a proper save that lasts after you leave the game. A quick save will last whilst you're still playing. I just want to show you one final thing as well before I stop talking endlessly. M um, shows you the map. So you can see the first floor there and as you move up and down floors you'll be able to see the different floors. It shows which floor he is on. Basically up, down, left, right. You can figure out on your own. I reckon I'm only going to talk to him because I don't want this episode to be overly long. If there's an exclamation mark, that means they will talk to you. If there isn't, that means they won't. So yeah, you can talk to all of these people at your ledger, but there's not much point. Uh, there's not really anything you can do in the castle at the moment, other than talk to Cain and then advance the story. So we're just going to talk to Cain from here, and that's it. I don't know why he's examining that wall. I just think this is quite a nice character moment. So we should watch it. So we have a little background on the character of Kane now. His father was a member of the Kings. Okay, I'm just going to go advance the story now. So yes, now on a different floor we can see this different part of the map. I like the fact that it's got a couple of pictures on the map like the compass and the two moons as well as the airship there. Those are things that look like chests, are uh, chests that have useful stuff in them, but we can't actually get into that room right now. Just trust me, I played ahead and can't. So we're going to ignore that room for now and head out on this way. Another little difference between this and the Game Boy Advance version is the title of the room that we're in stays on the screen for longer. A uh, white maze usually uh, heals but is not that good at attacking. The mages use magic. So she's good at healing uh, in various different ways, uh, bringing characters back to life, um, getting rid of status uh, problems. Okay, this is the wrong room. I'm I'm really not going to explore all the rooms. You can explore them yourself with your leisure if you wish. The fleet masters are sort of engineers, I guess. Specializing in airships. And the airship was the thing Cecil and his crew were flying in earlier.
Hello, weird rabbit seed creature. I don't know why he nods, it's absolutely impossible to change his name. Um, I'm typing numbers now, he can't change his name. Trust me. Well, I didn't program you into the game. That's what this game is about in a way, at least at the beginning, people finding out who they are and people kind of moving on from somewhere they're dissatisfied being, someone who they're dissatisfied being. And you will be meeting uh, Naming Way again, and I don't even know if this episode has worked or not, and we're about to have a long cutscene, so Sorry about that. So, I am actually gonna uh, end the episode here for. Oh, right, I can't because I can't say. Okay, this is gonna be a long episode, but never mind. Um, I'll just give you silence now so that uh, you can enjoy the cutscene. Who would have guessed there'd be a long cutscene in the Final Fantasy game? Your Majesty, what's become of you? Where is the noble knight, the man who took me in as an orphan and raised me as his own? The strong, just king I once knew. Is a crystal worth all this? Robbing a peaceful people of what's theirs by right. What need could be so great? King's orders or no, there's no forgiving what we've done. Cecil? Won't you tell me what happened? First you're sent off to Mycidia, and now to hunt some beast again so soon? Did something happen in Mycidia? No, it's nothing. Then why won't you look at me? I... in Mycidia, we... We stole a crystal from people who had done no wrong. I've worn this darkened armor for so long now. There's no mode of light left in me. Not even in my heart. You're a good man, Cecil. I'm a coward. A coward who cannot even defy orders he knows he ought not follow. Cecil of the Red Wings is many things, but he is no coward. Not the Cecil who I love. The King is sending you to Mist to slay the Eidolon, isn't he? If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't... Cain will be with me. I'll be fine. It's late. You should get some rest. Be careful. That's, this is probably my favorite. Thank you, scene. Rosa. But I know what I've become. In any Final Fantasy game, that was a really beautiful cutscene.
Shall we then, Cecil? I'll be counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear. Somehow got the impression that uh, Christine Bow should be fine with Cecil. I love the fact that you can see these birds flying past them. Yeah, it's cool. The Evil King could be played by Sean Bean. I think it'd be great. This film creates uh, itself. I have noticed that uh, Cecil apparently wears armor once he's uh, gone to bed. Seems a bit weird. I suppose he wasn't technically asleep. Or actually asleep. Nah, not. Well, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna save if I can get this uh, this menu up. And, uh, yeah, this is how we, uh, now I'm going to put it on slot 2, and, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.